Hi beauties and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a get ready with me. I have some new products. I'm going to try out some new makeup as well as some new sponges and new brushes. So if you'd like to find out more, then just keep watching. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you for joining me for today's video. And if you're new to my channel, go ahead and click that subscribe button as well as turn on the notification bell. That way you won't miss any of my uploads. Before I continue with this intro, why is it that every few months I forget to plug in my microphone? <laughs> I just realized that I didn't have my microphone plugged in this entire time. So as you watch me get ready and you watch me test out the makeup that I'm going to apply to my face and all the other products, I am going to have my camera's audio. So the audio that you're going to hear is going to be different than the audio that you're hearing right now. So I apologize. It happens. <laughs> Let's do a little chat before we get started with the video. First off, yes, I have new hair. I have definitely missed virgin hair. This was sent to me from Yalava, and I am going to film a review on this hair, so be on the lookout for that. This is a pre-made wig, and I am definitely loving it. So I created this makeup look using a lot of new products, some oldies, but goodies. And I have to say, guys, I'm loving the foundation that I have on today. Be sure to stay tuned to find out more about that. I'm loving how my complexion looks right now and how everything turned out. So without further delay, let's go ahead and dive into today's video. It always looks better when I film earlier in the day. It's like lunchtime. So I got some products from a company called Miss Swiss. They were sent to me to review. I will definitely link them down below. And I requested a few products from them. I'm not quite sure what's in the packages because I've forgotten. I do know I have some sponges. So I wanna open this first because I'm going to use the sponges today. So let's go ahead and open up Miss Swiss here. The Miss Swiss Marshmallow Sponge is perfect for easy glamour on the go. It absorbs less product than a traditional makeup sponge and spreads your foundation with ease. Oh, that's so cute. Okay, here they are. They're like nice little pink sponges and they are shaped like this. That is too cute. It actually has Miss Swiss written on the sponge itself. Very soft and squishy. So we will be using one of these today. I have a little bump on my finger that is absolutely killing me. So if you see me kind of maneuvering strangely with my finger that's why oh this is another marshmallow sponge this is like an individual one this is different this one is for under eye and your nose and it has like a slanted side here and then finally let's see here I think these might be lip products but I can't remember this one is a lip gloss and then this one is a matte liquid lipstick. So thanks to Miss Swiss for sending those to me to test out. Again, I will link these products down below. So I've wet them and they have gotten larger. And guys, these feel quite soft. I'm only applying liquid concealer today because I have a powder foundation we're gonna try out. So let's go ahead and start prepping. I don't have a new primer. When I was pulling the products for today's video, I ran across my Lancome La Base Pro and I haven't used it in a while. I use this as my primer today. Let's see how it does. That feels amazing. I think I'm gonna add a little bit of my Bobbi Brown in my T-zone. I probably should have put it on first. It helps with oiliness and I wanna make sure I don't get oily with this one. So we'll put this on as well. This is the best. This is my little Charlotte Tilbury color corrector. I really wanted to color correct today. <laughs> I'm gonna go in with my Tarte Shape Tape. Since I'm trying out a new powder foundation, I know how this works for me, so I would rather go with something I'm familiar with. I'm gonna start with this sponge. I love how this feels, guys. I'm gonna do this one in the center here, and then I'll grab the pointy one for the under eye. Wow. Maybe I'll take my bracelet off because it's gonna make a lot of noise. I like this, guys. Oh my goodness. 
that was so fast too like bam done now let's grab this one Okay, I'm liking the sponge, guys. I'm gonna go into my Huda Easy Bake Powder. I'm gonna put this under my eyes, but I definitely like to go ahead and set. I'm gonna put on the powder foundation and I don't want any creasing while I do that. And I might go ahead and do my nose too, since I did kind of highlight my nose, T-zone area. Let's see what we can do with the, if the powder foundation will cover this. Let's see. We have Laura Geller Bake Balance and Brighten Foundation. And this one is the shade Tan. This is the package. Get a mirror here. That's nice. And this is the foundation. I feel like this is gonna match me well, but we will see. I'm gonna take my dingy little brush here. Gonna need to wash. Uh-oh. Wow. I'm surprised, this is dark. I'm gonna have to go light on it, guys, cause this is too deep for me. Well, let's see. It's looking a little deep, see how that looks? But maybe when I blend it in, we'll be okay. A little bit more. So we have that on now, and it is dark, but still not terrible, but dark. Looks a little bit like my ashy mess right now. To help balance that out, I'm gonna take the rest of my Easy Bake. This is banana bread, it's the color. Just gonna put it everywhere to lighten that up a little bit. So I'm gonna sculpt my brows with my Benefit Precisely My Brow in 4.5 and then I'll be right back. Let's dust off the powder. It's, it's looking okay, guys. Especially with powder foundations, it's gonna be harder to make it lighter if it ends up being too dark. Like, what do you do? You kinda need to get that shade right. It looks a little cooler tone, so therefore I'm feeling a little ashy. So definitely gotta finish the look, and then I'll know how I feel about it. The powder foundation itself, very smooth and beautiful, it's just the shade that may be a problem for me. Now we're ready for eyes. I'm gonna apply a little bit of my Urban Decay eyeshadow primer. So let's zoom in for this part. I can't believe it's taken me this long to crack this open. It's just been a busy last couple of months, so I haven't had a chance to use this. So this is the Norvina Pro Pigment Palette Volume 5. I have on purple. <laughs> Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I actually had to return this and get another one because there was a shadow broken. This shadow here was broken and I actually feel like I watched someone else talk about this palette and mention the same thing. That same shadow was broken in their palette. It must be something special about that shadow that makes it likely to fall out in shipment. That looks like a pretty transition shade here, so we'll start there. So I have four reference brushes here, and one looks like a fluffy blender. It feels a little firm. So for my transition, I'm gonna go in with my normal Wayne Goss brush. This is a blending brush, and I'm using this shade E4. The reference brush set has brushes that are good for small spaces, so I will use those when I am ready to do more detail work. Oh, Anastasia Beverly Hills makes some of the most beautiful transition shades. Like I can always count on her to give me this beautiful transition crease color shade that just goes right in the crease. It's the perfect brown on my skin tone, it shows, oh, it, it shows up, it's beautiful. I'm gonna try this in the crease, guys. It's like a pink, a mauve color. And so now I'm gonna grab my refer brush, and this one is number 15. E2 is the shade, and I'm just gonna use this as my crease color. Probably should have dusted some more off, but I didn't. And I think I washed these brushes already. I believe I did. I'm adding it to my V 
and then just dragging it over into my crease here. Wow. I'm liking the brush. It definitely is like a firm brush that is helping keep the product where you want it. Because it's not too fluffy, it's going right in this area where a crease would be. You know, I kind of have mono lids, so I don't really have a crease. <laughs> I'm gonna go back over that with my original brush to sort of blend that out. I'm gonna try this in some way. Maybe another small brush. I'm gonna grab, this is shade D5 on this little small refer brush. And we'll just, whoa. I'm just gonna put the purple in the corner. Wow, oh my goodness. Well, we might as well just go in the whole corner here. I'm just dragging it in, sort of blending. Wow. That is a beautiful color. It doesn't take much. Very pigmented. I'm <laughs> liking the brushes too, y'all. Let's start with this purple. I just want to start dipping into the shimmer some, and then I'll know what to do next. <laughs> oh my goodness. Wow. Oh, wow. This is E3. I am blown away. That is beautiful. Let's go with this lighter one. I'm gonna start with this and see how, if I like it, if it shows enough difference. Oh, I don't know if it shows a, enough difference, but let's, since we tried it on that eye, let's also put it in on this eye. But they look very similar. So now let's try something different then. Let's try this shade. This is C4. And let's kind of pop that on the inner corner here. It's kind of a gold. I don't know if I like that either, y'all. Let's clean it up a little. I like the color. I don't know if I like that together. Okay, let's just go back. I'm gonna go back into the original purple to cover this up because I'm not loving that. And this is just the, the same one color. And we'll add some interest somewhere else in this look. But I don't like that light color. You can see it's still a little bit, but it kind of, that toned it down some, just going back in with this purple. I'm gonna go into this color. This looked really pretty. It's a shimmer. But it's a little deeper and I might put this sort of right here to add a little interest there. Going back into my crease color a little here because I'm losing it so I want to put that back and I may also go back in with my transition shade. I'm going to just go back and grab the E4 shade just a little bit and blend out the edges here. I just like love this, oh my goodness. Underneath the lash line, guys. Will this work? Let's use some of my same shades. Gonna go back in with my transition shade and just sort of buff that in under the lash line. This is brush number 14. Brush number 14, little small brush. It's good. It's poking me a little bit, so I might go back to here. This is the pencil. I think this is a pencil brush number 12. Let's see how this one does. Now I'm gonna grab E2. That was my crease color. And we'll just put that here on the corner. I just like to duplicate what I have on top. And I'm gonna grab my the little small brush I was using for the purple. Let's use a C, C5. Let's use that in the corner here. 
since it is all matte and we'll just put that in the corner so pretty oh my gosh oh my gosh back into that crease color e2 and e4 and this is a wayne goss brush as well that i like to use to blend out under the lash line because it is squirrel hair and it's a little less scratchy okay before we move on i would like to try this little glitter here this is um d2 I want to try it, but I don't want to use too much in case I don't like it. Oh. Without a glitter glue, I'm just going to hope that it'll stay. Oh, my goodness. Wow. That is so beautiful. When I wore my Tati palette, I kind of put the glitter like right there, too, and I liked it. So we're just going to do that. So sad. That, that palette is now gone it's like i filmed the video talking about it i rarely talk about that palette and then it was discontinued like the next week it was ridiculous that's really pretty can you guys see that okay yeah All right, guys, so I just put powder everywhere, didn't I? I'm going to do liner, lashes, and I'll be back. And I got to clean this up a little bit more with my wings, but I forgot. I wanted to try the NARS Climax Mascara with you guys. Love the packaging. It's beautiful. Even though I'm going to apply lashes, let's see what this is like. Okay, I like the fat wand. Seems to be more of a dry formula. It's not too wet. I know you guys aren't going to be able to see my baby lashes. As Melissa likes to say, the Itty Bitty Lash Committee. I'm a part of the Itty Bitty Lash Committee. Like I said, I don't expect you guys to be able to see my lashes for the most part, but it is going on nicely. It's not clumpy, and it is separating the lashes nicely. But so far, not bad. Okay, I want some inner tear duct highlight. What can we use? I'm going to grab this little gray color. And this is a um, C2. And we're going to use this for inner tear duct highlight. Whoa! Why does inner tear duct highlight always blow my mind? And I'm going to go back into my transition shade. Just to sort of clean that up here. Nothing new for bronzer. I'm just going to use this Gucci bronzer. The shade of it is a nice, rich color. So I'm hoping it will kind of warm up this darker, ashier looking foundation. Because to me, it looks a little cool tone, this particular the foundation does. Yeah, that helps a little bit to warm it back up. This is the shade 04. I'm going to put a little bit of lip gloss on I'm gonna use my Kevin Aquan just to contour my nose. This is the shade Dark. It's a nice contour powder. And we're gonna buff that out. I may add a little bit of this to the rest of my face. Let's see. I'm gonna take this small brush and just sculpt a little bit around the edges here. This is so good, guys, and it's just like the tiniest little sculpting powder. So small, so worth it. I'm happy I'm able to keep up with this because one small product that I have that I can't ever keep up with is my Pat McGrath Under Eye um, Powder. I just bought that recently, and I have it. It's somewhere, but I always forget to bring it. I'm going to buff around the edges here, and then we'll apply the blush. It's blush and time. I have this Nabla uh, Skin Glazing. Let's see what this looks like on the skin. So let's see, I'm gonna go in lightly. That's interesting, guys. I kinda like that. It's got a nice sheen. It is deep, 
so it would definitely show up if you have deeper skin but you can still wear it if you have fairer skin you just need to use a lighter hand i'm gonna take this and go back around the edges of the blush i want to try two highlighters i also have another laura geller in gilded honey it's my new one so i want to use that too Ooh, a brand new gilded honey so I'm going to put the Nabla on one side and Gilded Honey on the other side. And then we'll mix them together. This is the Cheek Highlight Brush from Chikahoto. We're going to pick some of this up here. All right, let's see. That is quite interesting. Oh my goodness, that's beautiful. That's really pretty, but very, hmm, subtle? I don't know how to explain that. It's sort of subtle, but it can, looks like it can build up if I keep adding. But I know I have to mix these two, so I'm not going to keep adding. So let's go into Gilded Honey, my new Gilded Honey here. I think I like... I like Gilded Honey better. What do you guys think? You guys let me know in the comments which one you prefer. Let's mix them. Put a little Nabla over here. Gilded Honey over here. Just keep mixing them. A little Gilded Honey. Wow, that is stunning. We're gonna grab our sponge here and tone it down some. I'm gonna take my blush brush and sort of blend them together. I'm gonna add a little more blush on the apples on the cheeks here. Take my bronzer brush with no additional product and just sort of buff that off. I'm gonna line my lips with my Charlotte Tilbury. Ooh, it needs sharpening badly. But I think we can get one line out of it. This is the Miss Swiss Lip Gloss. It smells like cake batter. That's a pretty color. This is the shade Dora. Let's see what this looks like. Oh my gosh. Definitely a summer color and not necessarily me. Still pretty. And this is a liquid lip, so I'm trying to move fast. We'll talk later. <laughs> wow. It's not a bad color, it's a summer color. It doesn't look terrible on me, it's just nothing that I wear. So we're gonna go in with a nude lip in just a moment. Okay, so I have changed my lip to a nude lip, you guys know, and I have on YSL 70, and I still have on my Charlotte Tilbury Foxy Brown Lip Liner, and I topped it with Dare to Bear. So my lip is like a nude lip. Both of these products are good. Really like the lip gloss. I'll probably be more likely to wear this product. Of course, you guys know I love lip gloss. This is a beautiful summer color, but both of them are good, just not what I wanted to wear with today's look. So now let's go ahead and set, and then let's talk about everything. All right, guys, so I am filming this for the second time because I realized that I did not have my audio plugged in for today's video. Missed it, totally missed it. But so that I don't forget these, I really like these refer brushes. These brushes were definitely a great addition to my brush collection because of their small size. These are the smallest, probably the smallest natural brushes that I have. I do have like another pencil brush, but like these two over here are amazing, especially I love this one. Oh, I love that one. But these are great. This is a wonderful crease brush. These are 
must have brushes for detail work on the eye especially if you have small eyes these are great if you really want to make sure that you keep the eyeshadow low or in a small area on the eye having brushes like this comes in handy so these were great absolutely love these sponges by miss swiss miss swiss marshmallow sponge love these like this one with the edge that was great and this is such a unique shape such a unique shape with this one and it was so much fun to use this one is not wet but this is softer than the beauty blender to me now softness doesn't necessarily mean better because sometimes you need a little bit of texture in order for it to really do its job but i felt like it did a great job applying everything that i used it for today these were excellent and we'll definitely use them again highly recommend the mascara by nars really like the packaging i really like the wand that you have here i use it on my natural lashes today but of course i put lashes on so i think that you know on our everyday basis when i'm not wearing lashes i'm going to enjoy this it separated them nicely i saw a volume and i'm excited to continue to use this so this was very good the eyeshadow palette it took me a while to use this this is a purple lover's dream palette <laughs> so definitely a beautiful palette to have if you love purple eyeshadow looks you have to love purple that's the first thing you have to love purple but you can also use this to create other eyeshadow looks that don't have purple of course i did not use all of the shadows here um, i like some of the cooler tones i know i'm going to be able to create some beautiful everyday eyeshadow looks that aren't in the purple family so when i want purple this is definitely the palette i'm going to pull but also when i just want other rich eyeshadow looks i'm going to use this as well so there are just a lot of gorgeous eyeshadows in this palette i absolutely love anastasia beverly hills when it comes to my crease colors and transition colors i really like how they fade into the transition area and i can always get a very blended appearance with any abh palettes that i use like they're the best for that i just love that and this abh norvina i think is volume five is a winner definitely this was not new but this lancome la base pro really enjoyed using that again so definitely have to go ahead and finish emptying this i really enjoyed this this laura geller foundation guys didn't we save it didn't we save it <laughs> now that i've completed the look i actually think that this shade is going to work out fine i probably will still have to like go over it with a translucent powder and definitely use like highlighting concealer i think both of those things helped make this match and work well for me i even think adding the warmer bronzer made it look a little less ashy if i were to purchase it again i would look to see if there's a lighter shade so i will go back to see if there's like one shade lighter this may have a limited shade range and this might be the best shade for me regardless but it was a little bit deep going on it probably will look better in the summertime on me for sure but it ended up working out i really think that it is a gorgeous powder foundation i kind of built it up to medium coverage i like the coverage i like the coverage that i see i like that it looks fairly matte it's a natural kind of matte finish what i'm interested to find out is how will this wear but i will definitely leave you guys an update in the description box to let you know whether it wore like this throughout the rest of the night or did it get oily so we will see I purchased it because someone else was hyping it up so I picked it up it was relatively affordable and I can see what the hype was all about it's beautiful these Miss Swiss lips are nice I know I'm gonna use the gloss probably more than I will use the liquid lip I'm not a lover of liquid lip but if you like liquid lipsticks this seems to be a really good one the color is beautiful for summertime or anytime if you like bright lips I really think this is going to be a pretty fall color so I actually might end up putting this one in my purse okay the Nabla products guys I like this as a blush it's got that sheen it's very very rich in color 
and I love the packaging actually like even though you don't get a mirror I mean do you really need one yes <laughs> so I think this is beautiful I like this baked product but it is quite deep but as you can tell I was able to really blend this out to look like really pretty on my cheek so you could make this darker if you like or you can go in with a light hand and still just end up with a berry cheek it has a little bit of a sheen to it this is really pretty and this is adults only this one is privilege this is also very pretty and i think you know could be built up a little bit more it has a little bit of a pink undertone with this one quite lovely but i really enjoyed my brand new gilded honey here and i'll swatch that one too and it's probably more because i like that color so i think those are all of the new products that i use many of the other products were oldies but goodies that i used for today's video definitely got a lot of great first impressions and i hope to be talking about these products again in a favorites video so thank you so much for joining me for today's video i hope that you enjoyed it if you did give it a big thumbs up if you have any questions or comments leave them down below and i will respond and if you've not already subscribed to my channel go ahead and click that subscribe button before you leave so I'll be seeing you guys again very soon in my next video. So until the next time we meet again, this is Savvy signing out.